What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of this amazing game, Hellblade. Senna was sacrifice. We beat that last boss, whooped his ass, so now let's go ahead and continue on and see what our next journey leads. Thanks for the troubled man. Scholar turned slave. They tortured him. Took him with them on their raids. Drove him to madness. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. To my world. Senua saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. His tales of hell were true. And that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him. Until she too could see what he saw. What do you say? Is she gonna leave us hanging? Come on, girl, let me share. Or am I going the wrong way? of self is shattered you simply cease to be though it may not seem that way to others you know when it is true you can feel it a stranger in your own body an imposter and nothing is the same ever again Senua has died before Again. With the mark of Valravan sure and the mark of Sirtis, you may cross the bridge over the River of Knives to Helheim. And here we go. Is there going to be a fight again? Why is she waiting? Open, open the gate. Open the no, gate. Don't, don't, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't, don't. She's done it. <laughs> She's done it. Here but me. Oh, shit. You. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Damn, Dylan. In this waking nightmare, where all dreams come true, you searched for control, a way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears to smother your furies and banish your fears. But in darkness they came, through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul. These gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. 
Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoiled. By your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. God damn. still beats a heart. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. She's pissed. You ran from it, but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering, worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandoned and to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Oh shit. This is our quest. This is where we gotta go. Oh man. You want some of this, buddy? so dope. Every game going forward should take advantage of parries. They must have as a prerequisite. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Beat his ass.
for that one. I take this fool down. Goddamn. Where to now then, my man? Are you gonna keep guiding me? <sighs> oh, we came through that door. I like open this one probably. Here we go. But oh, this is what the we saw this one already. This is a, in the the preview of the game. The journey to Helheim is never However straight. you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to Hell, you the may find yourself guarded by a giantess. You will find she will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. It will. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to Hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. X is somewhere around here. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. What else? Anything else out here? What's the sparkling? That's new. That's a new sensation. Does me out of focus here? Focus. What? I've been going around for like freaking forever. I'm gonna figure out where the hell to go. All I had to do is use my imagination and fake some shit. Well, 
least they figured out what to do, ladies and gentlemen. I was like, what the hell did I miss? We'll put that one in my pocket. So now I know in case I come up against that situation again. Okay, now the S's are on here. S is around here somewhere. That looks like ass. There we go. That's it, baby. What's up? What is the deal? That's the S. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't see anything else that'd be that would resemble that. One more. It's probably gonna be on the other side of this. I have a feeling. I got a feeling. It's gonna be right here. Oh man, I came for no goddamn reason. The dead end, no. No more dead ends. Oh, let's try up here. Okay, it's here. There we go. That one was easy. That's clever how that little instrument was every single piece. I like it. I like it. These guys are really innovative. It's because the way they made Son of Senua is all this was acted out in real time. It wasn't like 3D graphics made. It's new technology they came up with. So it's cool. I'm not sure how it affects. I'm sure it makes it more efficient because I don't have to worry about redoing my 3D modules. All they had to do was just like put the suit on the girl and let her do her thing. I actually did a good job. Alright. Here we go. There's gonna be some more fighting, I can already tell. It's a big, pretty big area too. Disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Oh, shit. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. How the fuck do you fight that thing? reaching deep inside of her. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? That'd be wild. Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people. 
people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's a curse. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself, because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just like your soul. Oh. Why go on when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. Damn, she slides her head good. not gonna be able to fight much longer. Oh man, what do you guys think of this so far? God damn, it's just crazy. This thing is crazy. I'm enjoying it though. Goodness. Give me some powers to fight, bro. She needs it. Dylan. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. See you, boy. Don't leave. There he was. The 
lone figure of a boy. Oh, who's that? The Saw play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. And for the first time in years, she felt... that like we're coming up on the one, another one of those doors. All right, tell me something. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree. And one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only. Out oh, that's a new story. His brother in law, King Sigurd, wants it. But Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. But when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Damn. I was like, is there more coming up? That's how the story ended. Oh. Is he over here? I haven't seen him in a while. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those oh, there fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last. Oh, is that the tree? What a sword is? What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I, I watched you. And you. <laughs> Learned all of that from watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, new age girlfriend right there. You should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. <laughs> you can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Sin 
everyone knows that there's no going back to how things work. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell around. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Sigmund and his brothers seem certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. Damn. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. What happens? Oh man, I can't leave us in cliffhangers like that. Man, this game did a fantastic job on the story. I know Lexi will enjoy this one. Yeah. All right, tell me the rest of the story, bro. I'm, I'm interested. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break. And he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Which is? I knew I was going to end there. Are there any more signs of our, our way? I want to get the rest of this. I'll check down here before we go up there in case I want. There's another sign. So we're at the tree. I knew it was gonna be a sword. A sword. Take it. Tell you left it for you. Take it. Take it. Take it. It's 
name is Gramr. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gramr by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shards. Oh, shards. man. What's the shard? Jeez. Find it. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to take our break. After we come back, we're going to do these trials of Odin and see what goes on after this and get this damn sword. But thanks for watching. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Join the smoothest channel in the world. Till next time, dear gamers, signing out. Have you ever